Just let me know when you're heading back in. Oh, wait. We don't have each other's info. Hey, give me your number and chat ID. And, um... I'll be counting on you then. Same goes for you, Morgana. The pleasure is all mine, Lady On. What a kind girl. Such admirable consideration for others. Chaos, you got a girl's number? It's the first time. Oh, man. So this is what it's like. And the innocence to cast herself into the jaws of death to achieve her goal. She cares about her friends and she's beautiful to boot. What a girl. She's captured my heart. Dude. You know, it'd be better if this group could get together quick from now on. True. Our best option would be to make a secret hideout where we could discuss these things. Oh yeah, sure, we'll just do that, no problem. A hideout, huh? I like the sound of that. Time to go find some abandoned warehouses. The school rooftop would work. Ted, anyone can walk up to the school rooftop at any time! It seems like nobody goes up there. For the time being, that will make the perfect hideout. Fun facts with Felipe. The voice actress of On plays Elizabeth from Seven Deadly Sins. I should watch Seven Deadly Sins sometimes. Uh, sometimes. Sometime. I hear it's pretty good. I can't contact you from inside a palace, so I'll stay in this world. Chaos, I didn't know cats could be attracted to humans. Uh, come on, dude. Don't, you, you're, you've been on the internet. We all know what furries are. You don't have to pretend like you haven't heard of this before. Only if you had a place or cafe that nobody visited. Yeah, man, that would be wild. You should totally tap that chaos. <laughs> that being said, I'll need someone to take care of me. I'm personally nominating you. You should feel honored. That is a horrible decision. I always forget to feed my dog. This is all you. There's no way I can at my place. Is... <laughs> Is Pimp Master Dude, <laughs> who, like, lets me stay in his cafe, gonna let me have a cat? What the heck is his name? Sakura. Or, no, Sojiro? Sojiro Sakura. That sounds right. Well, we now have our hideout, so let's meet there tomorrow. Okay, let's go look at my new residence for this world. Ryuji is played by the same person who played Shiguri in Tales of Berseria. Yo, Shiguri didn't show up super often in Tales of Berseria, so I couldn't really remember his voice, but I think you're right, yeah. Well, I'm sure you're right. You probably fact-checked yourself. That's sick. That's that's a Zesteria and a Berseria character in this game. I love it. Why does Morgana have such a big ego? I don't know. I guess it just comes with being a very horny cat. The Shujin Academy rooftop will be your hideout from now on. All right, well, that can't possibly ever go wrong in any way, shape, or form. Hey. The store's still open. Go upstairs. All right, cool. Uh, I have a cat. Is that okay? Hmm? Yes. Uh, hey. Hey, lay off the customers. Sorry if he was rude, doctor. Uh -huh. This is a doctor? I don't mind. Come on, you're getting in the way. Go on upstairs. I just said hello to a person. Wait till later. The cafe's open right now, you know. All right, all right, that's fair. <sighs> Thanks, I'll see you later. Thanks for coming. Come back again. That design looked too no. unique to not be important later. Whew, that's it for today. Mm -hmm. Oh, that customer just now? She's the head doctor over at that clinic down the street. Rumor has it she gives pretty crappy examinations and sells some weird homemade medicines on top of that. At least that's what I've heard. I haven't been there myself. They should really just leave her alone. It's not like she's getting in the way of their lives. Hey, Hey, are we there yet? Mm -hmm. Well, I've got to get home and start making home. dinner. All right, see you later. Punk rock doctor. What the? What is this place? Is this some kind of abandoned house? Hey, are you? 
I was wondering why I heard meowing. What did you bring it here for? What are you talking about? I don't see any cat. It doesn't have a home. It was abandoned. It followed me here. I mean, technically speaking, it did follow me here. Not my problem. Look, this place is a restaurant. Animals are a no-go. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Though, I guess you might stay on good behavior if you've got a pet to take care of. Fine. But keep it quiet when we're open for business. And don't let it roam downstairs, or I'll toss it out. Oh, and I'm not going to take care of it. That's all on you. These are all incredibly reasonable and fair terms. Was that the ruler of this place? See you later, Adrian. Thanks for dropping by, man. He seemed pretty understanding for someone who keeps you cramped up in this dump. Then again, I suppose to normal people, I just sound like a meowing cat. <sighs> Seriously. I had to keep calling out in that cute little voice. Make sure you wash that dish. By the way, uh, have you decided on a name? <laughs> yes, this is my cat, and his name is Garbage. Morgana? Huh. I was hoping I'd get to name it. <laughs> Looks like the chief likes me better than you. But you're a cat! Of course he does! And to be honest, this place is heaven compared to Kamoshida's cells. Well, yeah, one of them was a cell. This one is just a dirty room. Remember how you guys asked me before about what I am? To be honest, I don't remember anything about my birth. I think the metaverse's distortions made me lose both my memories and my true form. Uh-huh. Is that form a cat? I already told you. I'm an honest-to-God human. You are a cat. If I were originally just a cat, how could I talk? It doesn't make any sense. A human transforming into a cat doesn't make any sense either. Your argument is invalid. There's no doubt that the distortions were what caused me to lose my real self. I'm sure that once they're purged, I'll finally be able to get that self back. And I have a pretty good idea on how to do it, too. That's why I was in the castle in the first place. Come to think of it, I didn't get hungry over in that world. Let me make myself clear. Your taking care of me won't be for nothing. It'll be give and take. Due to my knowledgeable and dexterous nature, I have a lot of intel on infiltration tools. Uh-huh, and what are those? Well, I can't tell you more unless we settle on a deal. In exchange for you keeping me here, I'll teach you about these tools. How does that sound? I thought that that was just understood. I like that answer. <laughs> then it's a deal. Morgana seems rather happy. Oh, did I just get confidanted again? Oh, I'm going forward in time again? Oh, that's right. Every time I get a confidant, I go forward in time. Someone told me that. Skillful infiltrations and escapes to all manner of places. Yes, I was taught all of these things by a cat. Do you believe me? There's even the possibility that you use special tools and had someone who manufactured them. Answer me. Yeah, it was the cat. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the magician persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right, sick. Got the magician. 
why are we confessing to the police again? Because apparently that's all we do. It allows you to craft basic infiltration tools. Nice. All right. I'll lecture you about the infiltration tools over time. By the way, the power you used in the palace was seriously amazing. The stronger that power gets, the more reliable it'll be as a trump card. All right, I'm gonna stick with you wherever you go from today on. I like the sound of that. Personas are the strengths born from one's heart. Depending on what kind of life experience you gain, I bet it'll affect that power as well. And if you become acquainted with capable people, you might learn various useful skills too. This is all part of our deal. Got it? I understand. I expect great things from you. Don't let me down, okay? Don't tell me what to do. Don't have to worry about Igor's or Mona's confidant rank because it scales with the story. Good to know. So I assume I have to do side quest stuff for every other confidant. Also, I'll accompany you at words. I'll accompany you when you go out. Don't worry, it's free of charge. Getting around in cat form sounds pretty inconvenient, though. Well, it is what it is. I'll just have to deal with being carried in that bag of yours. Hey. Thanks for everything today. Oh, you're welcome. You saved me and I didn't even thank you properly. Uh, hey, don't worry about it. I can't. Anyway, I wanted to let you know at least. See you tomorrow. All right, good talk. You guys send messages to each other with that thing, right? I want in too, so I'm going to have to ask you to type for me. At any rate, is this really a place for someone to live in? You got a problem, cat? You want to go live in the cells instead? Mm. I'm offered teaching you how to make infiltration tools, but you really need to clean your room first. You are so rude. Hey. Where do you think you're going? We'll be busy tomorrow, won't we? Let's just call it a day and go to sleep. All right, still cannot just go and do whatever I want yet. Sleep time. Well, then. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day. Keep it together, all right? Yeah, yeah sleep. <laughs> Wait, is that cat Batman? Cat Batman confirmed. I feel a strange weight pressing down on my body as a cat. Is this the stress of Kamoshida's <laughs> threat weighing on me? Are we gonna get a velvet room? Cast okay, the punk rock. Doctor is going to be a confidant? Okay. You guys don't really need to tell me that kind of thing. I'll figure it out as I play. Even if it's crowded, looks like you can still grab a seat if you're lucky enough. While we're riding the train, we've got some downtime. I wonder if we could put it to good use. Probably not. You can't do night activities after going to a palace. Good to know. Thank you. What? Armed war. What? Igor played Hitler in Persona 2? Why was Hitler in Persona 2? <laughs> this game series is wild. What's wrong? You don't look so good. I haven't been feeling well lately. My head's all foggy and I have no energy. I've tried every drug at the pharmacy, but nothing works. Do I have some new virus? That's cool. That's cool? That's not cool at all. Is this the onset of a psychotic breakdown? What should I do? Am I going to die? Yo, don't let this chick look at WebMD. She will lose her mind. Calm down, calm down. Let's go to the clinic. Come on. I'm sure the doctor can prescribe something that'll fix you right up. I see. If you have books, you can read them when you get a seat on the train. Oh, okay. Good to know. I'm not making this up, plus you missed Sojuro's and Morgana's identification. I don't know what that means. Doctors have the best medicine, huh? Hey, wasn't that one customer back at LeBlanc a doctor? Uh, yeah. She was wearing punk clothes? No! That's not what's important here, though she did have an interesting fashion sense. Anyway, it might be nice to have some strong medicine to use in the palace. All right, good to know. Library in school? I get books from the library in school. Okay. Hey, we're meeting up at the hideout after school, right? Don't text now. We're in class. Oh, you have no idea. Whoa, you mean you're actually listening to all this crap? <laughs> yeah, but none of it is really sticking today. I know, right? Anyways, hideout after school. Where exactly is this hideout? The school roof. Wait, we can still go up there? 
Yeah, I'll let you in. Well, I'll be waiting. Just come on up when school's over. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll consider it. I ain't taking no for an answer. You gotta come. Hey, Karusu. Oh, no, do I have to answer your question? You, pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel a murderous intent. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> you can't just do that. Oh, that looked like it hurt. He hit him right in the forehead. That's what you get for daydreaming. I mean, I can't say that I didn't deserve it, but still. Kids these days have no respect for their elders. You're not wrong. Look further up in chat. I said what else Sojiro and Morgana's voice actors have done. Oh, that's what you meant. I thought I actually missed something in game. Good grief. Looks like you need more proficiency to completely dodge that. <laughs> that was so good. That teacher is amazing. I was like four seats back and he still nailed me. Yo, I've been waiting. Looks like we're all here. Okay, let's get going. Hold on, it's still too early for us to head to the palace. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thingy? Now then. Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. Hey, that persona crap, we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say you don't when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But how exa exactly are we supposed to do that? I cannot read today. I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. Hey. You talking about weapons? I know an awesome place. Okay. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. And where can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady On. Now then, Akira and I have some business in Yogen. Yon Yongen? Yonjin, I don't know. So let's head off for today. I I don't have any business. Let's go. Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. I know that's fair. I've got a good idea. Hey, remember that customer you met at LeBlanc last yesterday? Why can I not say words? The doctor who prescribes medication after a quick examination? She was sitting at the booth. Yeah, I remember. I just realized something. If she's the kind of doctor who gets sketchy rumors like that, maybe she'll help us out. She's somewhere in the neighborhood, right? Take me to her. What, are you gonna talk her up? The suspicious clinic. Where, what the heck? Examine. It doesn't look like the clinic's this way. Yeah, clearly. Bam, bam, bam. This is the clinic right here. No, this is Sojuro's place, isn't it? Yeah. Bow, 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 bow. Is it normal in Japan for people to walk around with like these surgeon masks on? Is that a normal thing? Oh, the clinic is definitely like right here. Yeah. Okay. This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? I don't like how Morgana goes full fedora tipper around on that. <laughs> Fair. Uh, the honesty is the best policy, but that would be stupid, so we'll make something up. Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. Alright, let's step inside. Hey, can I get some of those meds? What's up? Oh. Is this your first visit? Uh, I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Hmm, well, whatever. So, what are you here for today? Y yeah, my my body feels lethargic. I know the word lethargic, so you know I'm legit. Fine. Please head to the exam room. Oh, you actually just voice acted that. Okay. Air pollution is very bad in urban areas like there. Eastern Asians do it because of polluted air. Oh, okay, so it's just like a normal thing. I mean, that's really unfortunate, but I didn't know if that was something that was normal, like relatively normal or not. 